Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Looking at a professional website without breaking your budget? SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SoundWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. SoundWeb Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Evil Love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manales. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music. Coming soon to HamiltonRadio.net every Thursday night at 9. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles. Also cool merchandise like T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. Also support the Mike Widener Show on PayPal, Anchor FM, themikewidenershow.com. You can buy me a coffee. At buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is a singer songwriter from Cameroon, which is in the um, part of the uh, Africa continent and uh, in the DM, the division of the Southwest region of the country. We'll talk about that. He's an avid sport, uh, sports fan and music. We'll talk a little bit about sports, what he really likes. He also appeared on the Don Vic show and also was on the Icy show recently and um, also has a number of appearances coming up. And he's got a numerous, um, following on youtube facebook also instagram twitter tiktok and more and he's um got a few out which has gotten rave reviews like um g me with uh perfecto also back to my root and he'll be talking about a brand new video he'll be dropping it's really getting a lot of um attention out there live ladies and gentlemen from the plus studios in his wonderful private studio ladies and gentlemen the multi multi-talented singer songwriter izzy leon leon izzy good morning good afternoon good evening thanks for joining us today yeah, good evening. How are you oh, doing? Oh, it's great to have you on board as, as well, too. You're a singer-songwriter from Cameroon in the DNA uh, division of the Southwest region of the country. You're an avid sports fan and a uh, music uh, fanatic as well. You appear on Don Vic's show, The Icy Show, and also a few other appearances coming up as well. And um, you, you have a number of subscribers also and followers on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more. You also had a couple of songs you dropped, which gotten really rave reviews like G me and uh, back to my root. And you also have a brand new song you'll be talking about as well. And before getting to all that, Izzy, tell us how you first got started. Uh, I started way back. Uh, as early as I started way back at 20, in Cameroon. But, but music as a thing started to me because my dad was uh, my dad was a live performer. If he was a live singer, he, ha he has it, his band. They call it the Zyko group. So I grew up watching my dad playing playing drums and some um, uh, group members. That's why I indulge in music. So it had be something genetic. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and uh, what was that one precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing for the rest of your career? Uh, we grew, we grew, grew up in a community in Africa where um, uh, there's limited freedom of speech and uh, freedom of press. So the, the most common way you could pass out your view or the way you perceive life to be is through music. And so music has been uh, a way through which we can express our love, our disgruntledness, and every other aspect. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. And also too, that um, I, I, I'm not sure if you've ever been to the States or anything. How do you compare the Cameroon uh, government compared to the United States and the other governments you've, uh, you've uh, been exposed to? Uh, I can see even back in Africa, we, 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 we compare and contrast between our home government here in Cameroon and even that of Nigeria. It is two different um, uh, entity, you know, the way we operate here in Cameroon is different from Nigeria. And so likewise, I think that it will be different from the way they operate in the U.S. Okay. All right. And then how about some of your uh, favorite singers, songwriters, and uh, musicians growing up? Uh, actually, we, we're just trying to keep it real in the best level or capacity we can, mostly here in Cameroon. Why we are struggling to adapt to what is trending out, like borrowing from uh, the Western world, like in America, and that coming from Nigeria and Ghana to blend it too. Okay. And of course, you also had some really good music as well, too, and maybe some of the uh, influences as well. Yeah, actually, what we need now to forward the movement would be sponsors, uh, maybe a producers, and I don't know how to call it, contracts to boost up the movement because we are really doing good. I, I got more than an album now, but I cannot just release everything at once because I will need a finance and every other thing. Okay. All right. And we'll also talk about more of your interests as well, too, being a sports fan and also um, you're getting into acting and more as well, too. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Widener's show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener show, international war wing author, Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first go messer. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia's Gar, great reviews, and Eve Levin and George the Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com on over 30 podcast platforms. Coming soon to HamiltonRadio.net every Thursday night, 9 Eastern. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books and merchandise and more. Also support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Widener Show.com. You can buy me a copy at buymeacopy.com at the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with singer-songwriter from Cameroon in the DN division of Southwest region of the country. Singer-songwriter Izzy Leon Leon here on the Mike Widener Show. And um, how'd you come up with the name uh, Izzy Leon Leon? What's the uh, inspiration behind that? Yeah, I come, I come up from a country where um, Lion is like our national symbol. So, and my guys from way back from secondary school, they love to address me as Izzy because I'm a cold card, you know. No matter how the circumstances, I'm just too cool. So they were like, man, you are the baddest in this. So that's why they nicknamed me Easy Leon Leon. <laughs> I happen to like that. I looked at it, it's like, how do you call that? So you just have that. And also you've been like a, a big sports fan as well, too. You also are getting into acting, music and everything. We talked about music and um and, uh, and, and uh, what about some of the sports you got involved in? And uh, Cameroon, from what I understand, is also really, really, um, you know, they've gotten really powerful in soccer. And I remember that one year, they pulled off one of the biggest upsets in, uh, was it World Cup history? It was it like, um, I can't think who they'd be. Was it England or something like that? It's like one of the big countries they knocked off and they got them. You got, got your country on the map that way. Yeah, you know, in Africa, we, when it comes to football, we are the best. Cameroonians were the best when it comes to football no cap about that we are the best so way back i have been i've been involving in a basketball 
handball and football, but I love football most because I mean, in my town, Kumba, most of the young guys were into football. If you cannot play football, you cannot dance. It means like it is like you are not a, a boy in that town. <laughs> and, and that's where the acting comes in as well, too. And um, you also mentioned you play basketball as well, too. Uh, who are some of your favorite uh, basketball players, you know, and, um, especially in the uh, NBA nowadays? Yeah, I, 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 I love Judan, Michael Judan, you know, Kobe Bryant and the rest. Those are my, I, I envy those guys. They are, they are the best in what they are doing. Mm hmm. Okay. And, yeah. and, and also, too, like, you know, I get into music as well, too. And uh, what are some of your ever, other favorite types of music you like to listen to? Uh, in, uh, in America, I will see one of the best musicians I've ever loved growing up in America was Lee Wynn back in the days. And uh, I love guys like uh, Aru Kelly. I always we uh, listen to his music. I'm uh, Osha. I'm uh, Jay Z. Yeah, those are the kind of music I love. Then uh, Joe, Joe, Joe. I love I, I love that guy, man. I love that man. Huh, that's really interesting. And I, I and I'm gonna be listening to those. Um... After we get done here, they sound really good. And uh, you're also getting into acting. And um, who are some of your favorite actors and uh, actresses growing up? Uh, my favorite actors and actresses, let's see if actors I'll do with Smith. I love with Smith. Um, uh, and uh, uh, the, short, the short guy, I've forgotten the name again, the comedian. Uh, mm. uh, not, not Chris Rock, is it? Yeah, 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 Chris Rock. I love him. I love him. I love him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that man. Then the rock, the rock, man. I he, he's super cool. He's super cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, and then uh, how about uh, some of your favorite movies uh, growing up, and especially some of the ones uh, you enjoy? Uh, uh when I when I was growing up, there was this movie. This um, uh, they call it Rambo with the first blood, the second blood, and what in my community, almost everybody loved that music, that, that movie so much. So he, I had no choice than to love the movie. Uh, are you, are you talking about Rambo with Sylvester Stallone? Yes, yeah, Sylvester Stallone. Yes, one of the they, they, one of his movie. They they call it Rambo, the first blood, second blood, and third blood like that. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's very big over there, too. I remember watching Sylvester Stallone when he first got into movies. Rocky was a big thing. It's like I was I, I'm probably dating myself. I was probably in the sixth grade when it first came out. And that was really inspirational. And you know what the kids are doing these days? Daring everybody to drink, um, what, a dozen eggs in a glass and not puke. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine well, yourself doing that, fun. though? It's like, you know, you know, crack an egg and drink it straight. Are you able to do that or no? Be honest. I've done that. I've done that. Have you? What was it like for you? Yeah, yeah. It was nasty, man. It was really nasty. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't want everybody to try this at home as well, too. So, <laughs> and I suppose yeah, you had, uh, yeah. And I suppose you had Don Vick as well, too. You're on the Don Vick show. You're also on the Icy show. And tell us about that. And maybe some of the other appearances um, you've been on as well, too. Yeah, yeah. It's a really great movement, you know. I shout out to Don Vic, man. It's really a blessing to my life, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and also, too, that uh, you also had um, a couple of videos out, out as well, too. And um, like G Me with Perfecto and uh, Back to My Root. And um, tell us about those songs as well, too, what inspired you to write them. And if you have some other songs to talk about, feel free to do so. Yeah, all right. Uh, like the the back to my road, we did that. We did that back to road with my guy Perfecto. We 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 were just like you know most most of the uh, the artists here in Africa, they are they are they are deviating from the course, the original purpose of the the music. So it's just like I'm creating an awareness that I'm going back now to my road. Most of the sound that I'll be bringing, I'll use more of my artifacts here in Africa, like the Oroko language and uh, more of the Cameroon way of music. Mm. Okay. Yes. Like in the tell, in the tell, there was a slogan. There's a slogan in the tell that I use that uh I could say akara. Akara is something, it's it's uh, a kind of African uh dish, one of the prophecy dish actually. Yeah. Akara is just like something that the fry are using. You, 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 yeah, the African delicacy that okay. Okay. 
or ripe banana to make. Are, are you there? Yes, I, yes, I'm still here. I think we froze up a little bit. Now we're back on and uh, continue what you're saying as well. Yeah, I, like one of the slangs I use in the third in the third music, I say I could say akara, play tabala, give my money for you like nasaraka. Akara is just like one of African delicacies that they use a um, more uh, ripe banana to fry using oil. They use ripe banana as so other ingredients to fry. So I'm going back now to my to my root now. That's the essence of why I released the back to my root. Um, a freestyle video hmm. that's rather and interesting I have, yes i have i have a couple of other uh genres coming like uh okay i released pain to pay but i'll be doing the video too very soon pain to pay is one of uh our our traditional kind of dance here in in cameroon specifically in the world mm -hmm. it's using their back and their and their waist okay okay yeah all right Okay, that sounds pretty good. We'll talk about your uh, latest uh, tell in just one minute. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit our line at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson's Day of Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the amazing singer songwriter from Cameroon, Izzy Leon Leon, after this time out. We're back with the amazing singer, songwriter, and multi-talented Izzy Leon Leon here on the Mike Wagner Show. And we talked about, you know, your amazing history and you know, growing up in Cameroon and, um, you know, being in the States and everything. You've also uh, been a sports fan, music, and a um, little bit about yourself and everything. And you also have a brand new video that's going to be dropping, which is Tell. And, uh, you know, tell us more about it and uh, what inspired you to write it. Uh, what really inspired me to write it uh, is because of... Uh, the, the rising um, uh, death rate in Africa, specifically in Cameroon. Okay. You can also talk more as well, too, if you like. Yes. Yeah. You know, in, 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 in mostly in Cameroon now, the youth die every day, like both boys and girls, they die every day. So one of the lines of the tale is like, I'm, I'm like lecturing my friends. Mm-hmm. The essence of living the life now that you have the chance to live the life like today to enjoy your life today to the fullest because tomorrow is not guaranteed mm -hmm. right yeah and, and and of course what do you want the uh listeners to uh to get from your from your song as well too and other songs uh they just need to understand that easy lion i'm i'm struggling to to spill out what is happening in africa as much as what is happening in my life and the community that i am living in I just keep it real, you know. Music to me is uh, a way of expressing what I feel, my emotions. Okay. Okay. All right. And that's uh, really, really good as well, too. And uh, where can we find um, Tell and all your uh, music at? Uh, for now, uh, they, they, they can find most of my music at YouTube, Easy J Boy. They can you, you you go there you see most of the the, the the music that I've released already. But before next month, like I promised, before my twenty my the third twenty fifth of May, which is my birthday, oh, I will be birthday. on. Yeah, yeah, I will be on Amazon, iTunes, and all what sort. I will share I will share the, the my, my my social handout so that they can get to locate some of my music on these other um, platforms. Hmm. That would make a great birthday gift as well, too. So make sure you wish uh, Izzy a happy birthday on that May 23rd when you uh, pick up his music. We're a singer-songwriter from Cameroon, Izzy Leon Leon here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, Izzy, it's great to have you on. I'm looking forward to uh, more of what you got. Love to follow your career. And um, what else can we expect from you in 2022 and beyond, Izzy? I want to indulge on that. You know, I really love acting. So they should be anticipating on that, too. Okay. All right, we're looking forward to that. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Uh, my biggest influence in my career should be Two Face Idibia from Nigeria. Okay. Okay. And uh, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Uh, my best advice that I can give mostly to the young ones there, the aspiring um, uh, musicians, actors, and actresses in the world that they should live their dream to the fullest and they should avoid putting their step in somebody else's reality. You just mm -hmm. need to be you, the original, keep it real. If you're an actor going for acting, if you're a musician going for music, you should not allow others to determine the path that you want to choose in life. 
Mm -hmm. And that's really good advice as well, too. And um, once again, we're with uh, singer-songwriter Izzy Leon Leon from Cameroon here on the Mike Widener Show. Izzy, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We love to have you back on. Once again, tell us about your upcoming project. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your music? All right. On Facebook, Izzy Leon Leon. On Facebook page, Easy J Boy, YouTube, Easy J Boy. And on IG, that's uh, Instagram, Easy J Boy. On TikTok, Easy J Boy. I think that's just some of the social handles that you guys can get to me now. And uh, latest by maybe next month, like I said, I'll be releasing most of my project now on iTunes uh, uh, and other, other platforms. Okay, we'll certainly do that. Once again, Izzy, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Learned a lot from you. Looking forward to having you again soon. I can't wait to see what you got. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back. We wish you all the best, Izzy, and um, you've got a great future ahead of you. Thanks. Respect. Respect.